Hey everyone, Andang here for some more Mordor news. Recently it was announced that the level cap will be increasing to 115 with the Mordor expansion. I think that this is great news. It's the standard for a really big expansion. I know a lot of players were thinking that we might only get 5, and others were thinking that we should get 15 so that we can go to a nice even 120, but I think honestly 115 makes a lot of sense based on previous expansions and how much content there usually is, and so if there is the normal amount of content in Mordor, it makes sense to have a 10 level increase. And so I think that that's all good news and very excited to be continuing leveling in Mordor. Also announced was a new crafting tier, which I think is fantastic news. It really validates the Mordor expansion as a Lotro expansion. If you're going to have a real expansion, you need to have a new crafting tier. And so I'm very glad that that is in place and coming. And apparently, the way that the progression will work, the armor will only be at 115. So you can only craft level 115 armor with this new crafting tier, which I think makes sense. Most people don't craft the intermediate levels between the 10 level increases. And so I think it's fantastic that they're really focusing on making the 115 armor be more diverse and interesting instead of just having armor all the way up to 115 and it not being as good at each stage. So I think that that is fantastic news. Also apparently minstrel instruments will be coming sometime after Mordor with the new crafting tier so that is great news but the new crafting tier will be coming with Mordor Still no word on what the name is, and I think that they've kind of locked themselves into a corner here. But who knows, maybe it'll be the greatest, most awesome crafting tier to ever exist, because based on their naming scheme, that seems like just the next logical progression. Continuing on the increased bandwagon, we do have legendary items, which are getting new levels, but don't worry, just the levels once you've already imbued, you don't have to get a new legendary item. There was a bit of confusion during the stream where the people weren't sure what they meant, but we got it all sorted away. You don't need to get new legendary items. You've imbued and we're locked in and they're sticking to that commitment that they've made with us, which is fantastic news. We're also getting new relics and things like that, so Allies will be getting much more powerful, which is great because it sounds like Mordor itself will be much more powerful than anything that we've faced previously, so we also need to be increasing in power, which is why we're getting a huge hike in gear apparently, where the gear is going to be going way up in power, and so that way they can really make sure that Mordor has the right experience for players, is how they're selling it at least. So hopefully that will all work out and it'll make sense and everybody will be happy or <laughs> have to wait and see. Speaking of gear, new 105 PvP gear will be released sometime after Mordor's release. That is alright. I mean, it makes sense that because there's so much going on with Mordor that I really don't think that they can focus on balancing PvP at the same time. And so it does make sense that they're holding that off but still very disappointing to PvP players who really just want to see it balanced and sadly, whenever there's an increase of any kind in any type of power situation, it takes forever for them to even get close to getting it back to balanced. And so we'll have to see how that all works out, but I understand in this case because Mordor really should be the focus and so it's good that they are making that be the focus, but also good that we'll be getting PvP gear sometime in the future. And as if all of those increases were not enough, Virtues are also getting an increase from 19 to 20. So we're getting one more higher Virtue, which is great, I think. You know, it goes along with confirming that Mordor is a real expansion. It's something that we expect out of expansions, and it's fantastic that all the things that we would expect increasing with an expansion seem to be increasing with an expansion. So that really validates Mordor and it just makes me all that more excited to get in there and just enjoy increasing the power of my character again. It has been a while since I've been able to do that, especially on a 10 level increase, not to mention the new armor and stuff we'll be getting later on after Mordor releases with the raids and things like that. So. Lots of increasing in power coming with Mordor, which is very exciting. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about all of these increases, and if you think it's good or not. Thank you everyone so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it down below, and I'll see you again real soon for more Mordor news.